All right, today I'm kind of sneaking into a place, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. There's a golf course right here, but the golf course itself has a fence around it. And where I'm going doesn't have a fence around it. So it might be public water, might not be, I'm not really sure. I gotta get across the street somehow. Anyway, it's this, this creek that runs through it. I fished the creek before, and there's fish in it, but I've never fished this stretch of it. And it's a lot more of a natural looking area than what I usually fish. It's not as trashed either. So maybe it'll work out. There's gotta be something in it there. And since I'm trying to be a little stealthy today I'm going with a telescopic rod uh, I've never seen a seat a real seat like that before it's got a quick release on it and it clamps down uh, it's a pretty cheap one I'll post a link if I can find it again I've never seen a rod with this many eyelets on it this, this is not even all the eyelets there's like three or four more covered up on the tip there but it's got such a ha uh, short handle down here that in order to make it seven and a half feet long, they had to make each section really short. And in order to do the section short like that, you have to put an eyelet on each one. So, well, I guess you don't really have to, but it just, that's just the way telescopics are done. At the end of every section is an eyelet. So there's a bunch of sections. That's why there's a bunch of eyelets. All right, I've got it extended out. You can see how short the handle is on this end. It's only from here to here. And so every section is that long. And it's a seven and a half foot, I think. There's a baby soft shell turtle over there. I don't think I've ever seen a soft shell that small. This is weird. There's no leverage to it because it's such a short handle. That's a, <laughs> it just feels weird. I think the handle could stand to be just a little bit longer. It looks great over here. Sunfish, some big sunfish, some cichlids. Don't see any bass though. seeing some beds so something's probably the sunfish that are spawning over here there's a bite oh okay yep there's bass in there got a good one it's a short fat bass fighting pretty hard Ugh. oh it's not that short this is pretty good that's not a bad bass I swallowed it. Gill hooked him. Get this turned off because it might take a while. A short bass. It's pretty good though. Pretty good looking bass. I get him released. He's bleeding though. But well, now he's tangled up in the moss. There he goes. Once he's back in the water, the bleeding should stop. So he should be all right swimming off like he's fine there's definitely bass in here at least the one I got was bigger than the average bass that comes out of the other end of this creek and it wasn't very big it's probably a pound and a half maybe two pounds at the absolute most it wasn't very long but it was kind of fat Something nibbling on it there. There we go. Little one. Got him that time. Oh, look at that. A sunfish. Red breast. Hooked him through the nostrils. That kind of sucks, but. There we go. Came out pretty easy. 
All right, so I just got kicked out. Apparently it is golf course property, even though it's outside their fence. But uh, it paid off. I mean, I caught two fish, half decent bass, and uh, sunfish, uh, red-breasted sunfish. Uh, see how tiny this rod is it's seven and a half feet long so it's only about a foot right here <clears throat> so as far as a uh, compactability carryability it's pretty good uh, I think the the handle could stand to be a couple inches longer but uh, yeah it's uh, it's worth what I paid now I got a long walk back in the truck. Well, if you've ever wondered what the inside of a golf ball looks like, it kind of looks like the earth core. It's got a red center and blue around it and then the white crust. All right, well, I got kicked out of that first spot earlier today. And uh, still want to get some testing in on that rod. See if I can catch something a little bit bigger. Although the spot I'm coming to was not really known for having anything bigger than that. So, but uh, I'm gonna test it out a couple more times here. Try to bring in a couple of fish on it. And uh, I've also got my uh, custom built uh, American Tackle Pro Staff Rod. Let's get the AT logo there. If you follow me on Instagram and YouTube or Facebook and all that, uh, you've seen it. The logo's upside down there. Custom build by Bald Guy Fishing. The Airwave Guides. Uh, let me give it a shot there. I I keep trying to do a a video using this rod, but I haven't been able to catch anything on it. You know. Well, I did catch one half decent fish on it but it was right at the bank and it came right out of the water it wasn't really a test for the rod and on top of that I wasn't even actually trying to catch a fish I was trying to get a knot out of the line and he took the bait that was hanging in the water so and I wasn't even recording either so <clears throat> uh, but yeah I'm gonna try to catch a couple on it today and it looks like the spot I was coming to was occupied. All right, you know, at first, it wasn't a big problem. But look, I mean, it, the balance point is all the way up here instead of at the handle. So you're holding it over here where there's zero balance. And after casting all day, that really starts to take its toll on your arm and on your wrist. So like right now, I keep finding myself holding it up here at the balance point and trying to reel it in like this. Like it's a shark rod or something. And it just, I don't know. That, that's the big issue with it is the balance point. The reel needs to be further up or the, the handle needs to be longer. So, I mean, this was pretty cheap, but oh, I just had a blow up. Oh, he didn't take it. Or he didn't get it, but blew up on it for sure. As I was talking about it. Well, I, I say blow up, but he swirled on it and grabbed it. But not really a blow up, but he took it. Uh, anyway, it's just, it makes it really awkward because the balance point is up here. Rather than where it should be. You can't hold it from the balance point because you put it up here, your hand's getting hit by the line. You can't cast from up there. So... After using it for a whole day, like at first it wasn't that bad, but, you know, using it for a whole day, it's really starting to take a toll. Alright, that car is gone, so hopefully there's nobody down here anymore. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've been to a handful of spots today, and only that first creek I got kicked out of actually produced a fish. So... Hoping this spot, if they didn't fish it out earlier, fishing with night crawlers, which they definitely were. They left all their trash here too. 
Takis. But anyway, if they didn't fish this spot out, hopefully there's still some fish left. It's getting dark, but hopefully I'll be able to uh, get something before it goes completely dark. Go with the seven foot, the American tackle rod first. There we go. Not really a test on the rod, but it's a bass. Kind of a funny shaped bass. Little bitty one. <laughs> 